position, power, and fame, the deceptive path to one world religion. Position, power, fame has degraded some people's value of existence to effectively work for Christ at the location and area God placed and called them. Many left their locations and some are bought over by agents of Antichrist. Brethren, this is the current message the Lord gave me. I want you, when you get this message, I encourage you, just walk towards this message and let the Holy Spirit guide you as you return back to Christ. Hebrews 6, 8 said, But that which beareth tongues and briars is rejected, and is now unto cause in whose end is to be born. Many are being rejected, many many that so-called Christians, people that call themselves men of God, women of God, children of God, many are really not following the directions and the purpose God has called them. Some left their place of abode and look for a place that will favor them, not following the direction the Lord wants for them. Now, this is what I saw. I was brought out in the face of the earth. We are very high. There was a very high flyover, like a high bridge. But I saw, when I say trillions of people down, stagnant, it's like the world is watching now, waiting, what next? What are we going to do next? I saw millions of people down, adding power, fame, have devalued many purpose of existence. Then I was brought out in another sphere, in the sky. I saw the spherical round earth, they had the, the shape of the earth, I could see the countries around uh, the names and the locations of countries on the earth written on the earth like in real life but i noticed that the earth was seated at the edge edge of highest bridge like at an edge of a highest bridge and it was seated there it doesn't have really good balance i watched the earth roll and suddenly the names of the countries on their locations on the spherical maps on the earth were erased you won't see the names of locations of countries on the map anymore. They were erased. So then suddenly I saw the earth fell from the high bridge where it was. Christ believers in the earth need to rise and take up their positions. Locate where God has planted you when you were called in Christ Jesus. Brethren, not only preachers are called, not only pastors are called. Everybody is called to serve God. Are you a mother? Are you a father? Are you a youth? You are called as a Christian to function in the body of Christ. You must have to find your place. Well, many were called in Christ, so you have to reclaim your value of existence. Return to God, to God's purpose for your for your life in Christ. You. In the location God placed you with repentance, you have to be repentant, submit to Christ's initial calling and reclaim your location with warfare because the earth is falling to Antichrist's world regime. Isaiah 24, 4 to 5 said, The earth mourned and faded away, the world languished and faded away, the, the haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defined under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the law, changed the ordinances, and broke the everlasting covenant. This is where the real message came. Now, I want you to follow this message, brethren. When you get this message, I encourage you to walk on to this message, and I want you to share this message. I was brought down closer to the crowd of people on the face of the earth. When I came down again, just like from now, things are going to happen. They were in chaos argument fighting against each other with anger and bitterness there were looting and killing and that some people had to defend themselves with weapon where the police were running away for themselves for their lives as well then i saw this is what thing i really baffled me I saw three huge garments designed with golden rhinestones were hung on a high dark pillar of a building. While looking at the clothes, on the right side, I saw three ladies with full smiles. To my surprise, these ladies are from the African descent and each one was 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 sitting on their country flag and the section where their table were 
were equally covered with their country flags. I noticed that the ladies' clothes changed to their country's flags and the background of the flag changed to reddish blood. Change to reddish blood. All you can see that is not red is their country logo. Then one of the ladies in front, her clothes changed to a dark clothes and she left. This, the lady in the middle was full of smile. This, you know, the more she smiled looking at me, her clothes, which now is her country flag, became more reddish and bloodier. I was taken out from there. I saw three musicians. These are gospel musicians, praise the Lord. These are gospel musicians. One was moved to the left and his clothes changed from brown to a dark. He was moved to another location. The other two were equally moved out of their positions to another location. The one that was first moved out from moved out was given lots of things before moving to another location. The Lord said, many has accepted what I rejected. I wondered what the Lord was saying. Then I was taken to the book of Matthew 4, 8 to 12, 4, 8 to 10 said, Again, this, the devil took him up to an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All this will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him alone shalt thou worship. Praise the Lord. I want you to follow. I was taken to a hidden place. It's like auditorium, like a huge church. I saw boxes. You know, there's a lockdown now. Many believers were met in a secret place with money and promises of position and power. Satan has intercepted the will decision-making power of some religious practitioners under the shield of Christianity. And their souls have been bought over. They have changed their decision and have secretly changed their wills for Christ. I was taken to an auditorium. The worshippers were not there because of the lockdown. On my left side, I saw brown boxes sealed and attached with white labels covered with, with thick covering. I wondered what was in the boxes. I observed that the boxes started reducing in number. A few were remaining. Then I asked what, what they were. I was told that these are boxes filled with various currencies. The white attached labels are written names of currencies of and their countries. I wondered why. I was told that the Antichrist move of world religion and government has brought many religious Christian leaders and non-leaders as well over the intercepting on their will power to change their will decision money. The money. That's why the money boxes were given to them in the currencies of their countries. And then I was there is a secret chaos in the, in the community, a money market control. Satan is ruling world economy through countries in the market, affecting various companies and bank decisions. The move to create one world currency will create more chaos that will cause some shortage of currencies in the communities. Brethren, this is serious. I saw some men and women dressed in hospital, surgery scrub for doctors. They were setting foundation of hospitals building. I saw the I saw the division of the soil, wood, pillars, sand. Then I saw the dog sand change from reddish brown to very dark muddy water. Then I screamed and I was taken out from there. Then I heard the dice is cast. I heard the dice is cast repeatedly as I was getting this message. Christ, Christian believers in Christ Jesus need to go back and check their, their relationship, focus in Christ for heaven with God the Father or Christ or Antichrist for hell with Antichrist. Let me read again. Christian believers in Christ Jesus need to go back and check where their relationship Focus in Christ for heaven with God the Father or Antichrist for hell with Satan, the deceptive father of all liars. When I heard the dice was cast, I was like the book of Proverbs 18, 18. Casting dice settles a dispute, deciding between strong contenders. You remember when they divided the clothes of Jesus in the book of Matthew, Mark chapter 15, verse 24. Then they crucified him. They divided, they divided his clothes among themselves by throwing dice to see 
what each one would get. The dice has been cast, brethren. The, a lot of people have made up their mind who they want to serve. For clarification, and, and I ask so many questions because all these things I saw, I asked so many questions. Please, brethren, listen. The voice of the Lord asked me, do you want your freedom of worship to be taken from you and your willpower be silenced? I screamed, no. He said, this is the move of one world regime government that will silence many willpower and control finances for money markets for one world currency. The riots and chaos in the street, I asked. There are people stealing food, properties, killing and each, killing each other. And the police will not be able to control because the banking system will be intercepted because the bank will be trying to find their place in the money market. They will not be issuing out money currencies to people. Then people will take to the streets to fight, loot, and kill to get food and items they need. Three, the reason Clinton was not appointed the president i the lord this is what i heard the lord told me she will not benefit the church and will be used more antichrist movement faster than god's will and, and time there are people that clinton was not chosen the lord went on the current president president trump is looked down because of being the type of person he is and the words that comes out of his mouth. God said he uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the wise. The type of person President Trump is has subdued and resisted some secret agendas of Antichrist agents. Antichrist put in place to take Christ's divine place. People may reject the President Trump, but God has put him to refuse the regime movement of, of agents of Satan, even as he was pressured, he still holds his ground. He's the kind of person that holds his ground with pride. He will still hold his ground. God placed him there for a reason. There are so many things he resisted. Antichrist is moving his agent. They come to the media and say what they want to say. But underground, they are doing a lot of stuff. Many countries have accepted one world regime system. That some African country leaders have, like the ladies I, I saw, many have accepted the the one world regime government, the community to rule the community, government, church, school, banks, leaders such as hospitals are setting up their treatment services for one world religion, regime. Coronavirus was used to test how one world regime can be able to control rules and laws in government, hospital travels, school churches, media, technology, internet service, bank market, and businesses in worldwide. They use coronavirus to test. That's why if you look at coronavirus, it's come down to 666, praise the Lord. Many church leaders did not discern the move of Antichrist. Many are not consistent in God's presence because some has lost their location and cannot be effective outside the location God strictly placed them. I cried that God should restore us back to his presence. Forgive us our sins and restore us back to take our relationship, family, ministry, churches, media, technology, community, school, health, hospital, companies, bank, agencies, government, countries, and nations for Jesus to walk according to God's own scriptural time and will. This is what we want. Yes, the Antichrist will come, but it must not come to suppress us, frustrate us before the trumpet sounds. Revelation 13, 16 to 17 says, And he caused all, both small, great, rich, and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I want you to look at some of my message about the chiefs. The Lord gave me a message about the chiefs. Follow my messages, the previous message I gave. This is the move of Antichrist on putting the chiefs and some are, is going on now. Brethren, we have to be very prayerful. Stand your ground as a born again child of God. Second Peter 3. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall, shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in holy conversation and godliness? John 3, 16, 33, 36 say, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not, the son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abided in him.
Hosea warned us. He said, Hosea 12, 6 said, Therefore, turn down to thy God, keep mercy and judgment, and wait on thy God continually. Brethren, as you get this message, I encourage you to share this message. This is a preparation. Brethren, wherever you are, follow this message and let the Lord lead us. Those of ministers, people that left their location, they want to go to a place that will favor them. Be very, very watchful where you go. Be very, very watchful what you accept. Be very, very mindful of the job you're accepting. This is a message. Many countries are accepting it. The Lord gave me many names of some African countries. Some of the countries here we are in, in the nation have started accepting the, the, the Antichrist duties they are carrying out. Stand on the holy ground. Stand on the word of God. Stand on the scriptures. He that, you that trust the Lord, the was to exploit. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abided in, on him. That is John 3, 36. May the Lord bless you. This evangelist got you in favor. I want you to go through this message, share this message, let the Christian get prepared. Things are going to happen presently. I just want you to follow this message and be very prayerful. Let the Lord direct your path in Jesus' name. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.